Please note that this doorbell only works with the 2.4 GHz network that is being broadcasted by your wireless router. Before starting the credentialing process, connect your cell phone to the 2.4 GHz network. The 2.4 GHz network name or SSID usually ends with a 2, 2.4 or 2G. If your network is showing something different, please contact your router manufacturer or internet provider for further assistance. Now we're credentialing. Um, my doorbell is flashing rapidly red, so I want to select a doorbell in my Secure360 app. Okay, so right here, I read these instructions, which say once you have completed your installation, confirm that the ring around the button is flashing red. Alternately, you can use an appearing mode, an AP mode. See help below. Okay, so I'm going to hit confirm. Okay. Now I'm going to have to enter my network password, which I can't let you see, but... Okay, so I've entered my network password and I'm going to click confirm. Here's a big issue here. Um, make sure you're, you're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz band of your wireless router. Uh, I was connected to the 5G band and um, now it's telling me that this device is not compatible with the 5G band. So. Let me go change that real quickly. Okay, I'm back and I've connected to the 2G or 2.4 gigahertz band in my wireless router. So I'm gonna click confirm. Okay, so it's telling me to scan QR code. Let's see if this works. Okay, there we go. Just did it. My indicator started flashing blue and I'm gonna click indicator flashing blue. And Oh, added it to my Alexa, awesome. And we got a doorbell. Okay, so now our product is credentialed. Um, so I'm gonna open up the live video feed. And, oh. As you can see, um, here I am. Um, so let me just do a quick walk so you guys can see how this looks. It's just a little sunny outside right now, so... So I'm gonna press the doorbell. Ooh. Oh, okay. So I got this notification. And as soon as I hit that, I am here. Hello? Oh, there we go. I hear that. Okay, so, oh. so the last thing you're gonna have to do, um, depending on which chime you have, so let's go back inside. You're gonna have to select the appropriate chime. When you finish your credentialing, you will see this pop up. You need to select your chime type. Open up the chime settings and select either mechanical chime or digital chime. The mechanical chime creates sound using metal plates or tubes. The digital chime has a speaker that generates the sound. So I have a mechanical chime, so I'm gonna hit complete. And now, okay, so now when I press the door button, doorbell button, my chime rings.